to answer the question about the reporting of 1618 genotyping and the use of it, as a clinician, I, I still believe in the art of medicine. I agree with Dr. Schulman that, you know, we've gone a little far with, with guidelines and that physicians do have to use their own judgment. But with that comes the obligation that physicians gather all the information they can about patients and, and whether they're at risk for certain diseases. So I, I think that genotyping with 1618 gives a more complete picture of, of a, a patient's risk for cervical cancer screening. I like to use the analogy of cholesterol. When, when we first started to measure cholesterol, we could only measure total cholesterol. And there were a lot of people walking around with a total cholesterol of 250 and, and didn't have any risk for cardiovascular disease. And there were some that were walking around with a, a cholesterol of 190 and were at risk for cardiovascular disease. And we really didn't start to understand it in, until we started measuring HDL and LDL. It gave a more complete picture of who's at risk. And I, I think the analogy to HPV 1618 is, is, is very similar. I think it gives you a, a better profile of what a patient's risk is.